Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and this is, uh, well, a game by a developer called Frontier that I've not actually heard of. Which is funny because I have technically played this game before. This is Lost Winds, which I believe was originally released for the Wii as like a WiiWare title, and I played it back then and kind of forgot about it because this was ages ago, and it's on Steam, so I'm gonna play it for really real now. So, here's my mouse cursor, and I've discovered that if you idle on this for too long, then the game will prompt you, hey idiot, move the mouse, create a little breeze, and that wakes up our little protagonist here. Why thank you for just telling me what I already did? In case you didn't notice game, I was already doing that. But yes, as you can sort of tell, this whole pointer control dealie was originally the pointer from the Wii, instead of, you know, the mouse cursor, and I seem to recall it being a lot easier to control, like, it feels like it's going to be easier to control with a mouse, compared to uh, the Wii pointer, because, like, you'd have to control it with one hand, and is there no jump button? There may be no jump button. Just walk towards a ledge and, and you'll climb it, okay. So I'm sort of a little bit rusty, because obviously I've not played this game in a hot while, I just remember the vague basic story where we have this protagonist dude and also a pointer that makes wind things happen when it goes wooble. Though it's the start of the game, we're probably about to get some story. And the uh, pointer just defaults to the middle of the screen just to show that, hey, your pointer is falling with the protagonist here. I believe we get some exposition eventually. For the moment, just take in these beautiful atmospheres and like everything. There we go. We we have something story related. Pick up the thing. Pick it up. Explain everything. I've forgotten everything, so explain it. But yes, this game is so pretty, the sound design is so pretty, the everything is so pretty. At last, you have found me. Please don't be afraid, young one. My name is Enril, the Wind Spirit. I've been trying to get your attention for some time. Didn't you notice when I tried to wake you up by waggling my mouse? Well, never mind that, little one. There's not much time, and I have so much to tell you. So I have so much I have to... And I have so much I have to tell you. You're probably wondering how a spirit like me ended up like this, trapped inside a mouse. Let me tell you how things came to be. With beautiful music and beautiful scenery and such like. Okay, we do get exposition. Many years ago, the ancients called upon us spirits to create this island, Mistralis. Dropping several chunks of chocolate into the ocean as we did. A spirit named Balasar abused this power, and sought to rule over Mistralis itself as a god, or Cthulhu, or something. Oh wait, nope, those are people, never mind. For this treachery, we forged a spirit stone. Sounds like a MacGuffin to me. Its sole purpose was to seal Balasar within it forever, so he could do no more harm. I'm sure it worked. Balasar fought against us and the power of the spirit stone. The Briar and other old memes. For a time, it seemed as though it would not be enough to trap him. Using the last of my power, I summoned a furious tornado to enshroud Balasar. This was enough to weaken him, allowing the spirit stone to take hold. However, in doing so, I too was dragged into the spirit stone with him also as well. Over the centuries, Balasar's anger twisted him into something far more terrifying. Like a, a, a final boss or something. I tried to calm his rage, but still, Balasar's power grew until he was finally able to weaken the stone. With his new power, Balasar finally managed to shatter the stone. Oh no. This unleashed an immense power that scattered both the stone and the spirit of Balasar across Mistralis. Are you keeping up, kiddo? Unfortunately, I remained trapped within the fragments of the stone whilst Balasar was set free. Shit happens. I could feel Balasar's power growing all around. I think it's only a matter of time before he once again emerges. There is a great amount of work to be done if I am to stop Balasar. Probably have to use you as like an avatar of me or something. My powers are weak at the moment, but by working together, we will achieve great things. Well, I guess we should find a way out of this case. Spoken like a true politician. So yes, <laughs> the keyboard is our protagonist Toku and the mouse is Enril the Wind Spirit, and we can make windy things happen, and conceptually, I love that as an idea. Congratulations, we now have the power of Gust. We can wind. 
So this is how you jump. You don't have a jump button, you blow your child upwards, as you do. This is why the controls are a little bit fucky. And obviously, you, you can slow his descent, but you can't, like, you can sort of tell by the uh, number of boops on the mouse cursor that there's only so much you can do at the moment. Like, I believe gusting upwards uses up those boops in a in a way that I don't fully remember. But like, it has to recharge before you can use it a second time, is basically what I'm trying to say. You there, ball. Oh, I can eat the ball. Eat the ball. Eat the ball, Taku. I'm not used to having to click on that particular icon above his head to do the thing. I believe this is how we get health back. That's not wasteful at all. Good job, Taku. I thought maybe we'd need it for a puzzle up here, but evidently not. So yes, conceptually, I love this idea for a game where you are the wind, but as you can sort of tell, this idea of jerking a little bit one way with a Wii Remote isn't really the easiest way of controlling, so that's why I'm giving this game a second chance here and now in the form of a, its PC version. Though, one complaint that I do have- oh, I, th I thought that uh, we had to go up and to the right, well, we're inside a Poyak. I'm giving it a chance now because the Steam version was available for relatively cheap, and also because the controls would probably be better. Now, I remember distinctly not completing this game when I played it on the Wii, so I don't know how arse it gets in the later acts, I just know that uh, it sure is a game. How make get? Well, clearly, later down the line, we're going to get some sort of power that allows us to double, to double jump. It's just one of those sorts of games. We don't need to reheal. There is a whoosh. Can I whoosh out the fire? Oh, it's like... It's sort of like Okami, then. I'm not sure... Was there something like this in regular Okami as well? Well, whatever. It's fairly directional. One Now, my one criticism about the PC version of the game is... The mouse cursor isn't constrained to the window. Look, Look at this place. place. I, I wonder, wonder who built it. it. Like, if I go too far to the right then the mouse will go out of the window and I can accidentally click out of the game, which is annoying. It appears to be some kind of shrine. Let's, Let's look around, maybe we can find, find some answers, answers, or an upgrade, or something. We've already got the ability to jump. Could it be giving us the ability to jump twice? Whoosh. Damn it. I wanted to whoosh the thing, but it was, it was a cutscene. There is an inscription here. It reads, Our creations answer only to the voice of the wind. Blow me! like that. This just seems like the sort of thing that would give you an upgrade anyway. Like I said, I don't remember. It's been a while. And this is a game that I have no particular attachment to. I just like it conceptually and I like its art style. Like, credit where it's due. This was the first game that I think that introduced me. Oh, yep, okay. I got an achievement. Congratulations, Enreal's power has now increased. So yes, I have the double gust ability now. So according to the achievement. So yes, we can now do two blows. Two blows, and we're not even ten minutes into the game. We are OPF. So presumably, oh. I was going to say, maybe you want me to climb out to the, um, to the this way, but nope. And there's another achievement. First collectible. So yeah, give, give it enough time and your power can recharge, so you can fly almost indefinitely, but only over long distances like that. It's... It makes sense if you pay it some attention. Like, the the whole double gust thing, I think your first gust has recharged by the time you've used your second gust, is sort of the idea here. But it is still finite, it is still limited. And we're back here again, except there are enemies now. Be careful, Taku, those, those look like, like GORBS to be. Wow, way to kill the mood. They come from the decay of Balazar. This can't be good. Whatever you do, don't let them stick to you. Of all the things they could do, that's the one thing you're afraid of happening. I could just go over and above, but now I'm gonna blow you. Blow you away! Because that's just a thing that I can do. But yeah, the way to defeat them is just blow them against a surface. That's... That's it, really. You just crush them with the power of wind, which is slightly morbid. Look at that little sapling. The poor thing looks rather thirsty to me. I bet with a strong gust I could splash some water onto it. I could rub some bacon on it. Whoosh. That was easy. Is there anything over here? This looks like the sort of place where you would hide a thing. That looks like it needs fire. Like, that kind of fire. Like... Huh. 
For a moment then, I thought I heard someone, like, do some sort of laughter like it was... Like some sort of air horn kind of laughter. I don't know. Clearly I was wrong. I just thought a voice file sounded vaguely like a... Nyo, 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 kind of... I know I'm talking absolute crap. It's because I'm trying to get back to grips with this game. And imagine that that's probably there to teach you that, hey, you can interact with fire if you're careful about it. Come to think of it, I did already draw parallels to Okami. Like, th there is definitely some Okami-ness to this, except I think the, um, the style of it is closer to... Like, it's more, maybe, North American or some kind of African or Polynesian, as opposed to Japanese. Like, it's some other ancient culture as opposed to ancient Japanese, is what I'm trying to say. As, you know, comparing it to Okami, I, you know what I mean. I was just on my way to Wither Falls, but it seems the bridge here has fallen through. You should probably turn back. There's no way anyone could jump across that gap. Not even me with the power of whoosh! Screw you, person. Whoa, that was amazing! How did you do that? I blew. I blew really hard. Now, I know I'm just sort of folding back on the way that I just went, but I thought maybe there'd be like a collectible or something. I thought we'd be on the other side of that gnarled root dungeon that we couldn't get through before. I don't know where I'm going. Well, we could just enjoy the scenery. Oh, there's a statue. I think, is this how I save? I think that's how we save. Either that or it's just a checkpoint. So yes, this is the other side of the, uh... No, it's not. It, is it? It's not. I thought maybe we would, we'd come back around to the other side of where we just were. I don't know, I, I'm in that weird mood where I'm sort of too hot to think properly, and I'm not entirely sure why, because it's not, not an especially warm day, but I still have to take my shirt off prior to recording this so that I could actually get a coherent sentence out. But yeah, anyway, but why apostrophe anyway? Do let me know what you think of this game, and if it's worth me sticking with for a full series, because as it stands, I intend to do a full Let's Play of this game. Whether it's 100%, 100% or not, I have yet to decide. But for the time being, it's certainly what I plan on doing, and I can't blow that windmill in the background, and it makes me sad. But yes, if this is interesting to you, then do let me know, because I, I thrive on feedback, don't you know? Plus, I, I rather like the idea of, um of reliving this game, like, prop experiencing it properly now that I am able to, and I'd, somehow I don't think we actually can, like, like, I can't, like, the, the fire only goes in straight lines, so I can't burn that down. Well, that's just sad. Well, at least there isn't fall damage. I was sort of tempting fate there, but no, that there is no fall damage, this is good. Will I die if I go down there? I have no way of looking, so I shall not find out. There could be other things to do in the opposite direction, because, I mean, goodness knows, we reached a, a town-like place and I just sort of ran backwards. So hello there, sir, how are you doing this fine afternoon? Such a fine day this is, perfect for a spot of gardening. Wow, y you are helpful. <laughs> the only other thing I could think to say at this time is, wow, this game is beautiful and stylistically yum. I remember nothing about when I played it for myself on the Wii that one time. I don't even remember how many one times it was. Hello there, young Togo. What a beautiful day this is. I am not doing that voice. I think Deo has been looking for you. I hear he's rather worried. I'm not going to remember all these voices because I'm I am not like I wouldn't mind being a voice artist at some point in my life, but ra I'd rather that be on a a coherent project where I voice a single character or two rather than voicing every character ever. I think I, think I, I found, found something. something. See, I've already forgotten Enril's voice. Melodious statues will record your progress as you pass by. So I was right. It's just this one is the one that gives you the tutorial rather than the first one that we encountered. That's a bit of fucky programming, but hey. If Toku dies, he'll return to the last Melodious statue visited. Why is Melodia a caterpillar? Just a question. <laughs> also, does that mean that my game is saved? Because I, I did see some complaints on the Steam store that the game didn't save properly, so we'll have to see. Ah, uh, Toku, there you are. Get over here, you little sprout of all the I've been worried rotten about you. We, we were just sleeping in a place. Pardon me while I blow up your dress, Mr. Person. Where have you been this time? Honestly, when I promised your mother I'd look after you, I didn't think it would be so hard. Never mind about all that. You're just in time for your first chore of the day, goody. What? Don't give me that look, Toku. Chores are very important. They teach us order and responsibility. Deo, it's you! Oh, my goodness, I thought I would never see you again. I need your help, Deo. We must talk to the other spirits. I fear Balazar's power is forming once more. Deo, 
Do you not hear me? Now, Toku, can I trust you to travel into town and collect some herbs that I require for the garden? Herbs with an H? Make sure to be careful whilst you're gone, there's been many a disturbance of late. Something is very wrong, Toku. Why can Deo not hear me? I'm going to keep switching back and forth between Dio and Deo because Deo... Maybe we should head to the village and see if anyone there could help. A very plan. I will push the water wheel and it will do nothing. I think we'll get a power later on that allows us to... I, I, I won't spoil that. Oh no, a, a volcano. Yes, that is what an earthquake is, is called. Wow, what, what was, was that? that? It was a volcano, obviously. <laughs> because I forgot the word for earthquake. There are children! Blow the children. Don't blow the children. I've been... Blow them with wind and breezy things. Hello there, baby person. You have a baby. <laughs> There's a baby! Just look at this mess. If the rumbles keep on, the village will be ruined. I have a baby. <laughs> Think of the children. I don't mean to not take this seriously, by the way. I'm just I'm just trying to inject humor. Ooh, a berry. Yep, you can just whoosh to enable grab. And so once again, we get to see the eating animation. Where Togo is just like, okay, I've had enough. So wasteful. Honestly, child, who do you think you are? Now, one thing I will say about the whole gust thing, especially having a double jump so early in the game, it does seem like it's a bit hard to judge what jumps are makeable and what jumps are not. So, pardon me if I don't go where I'm supposed to straight away. Oh, I need to jump over this house rather than walk around it. Bearing in mind there's a, a clear path around it in the third dimension, whatever. Hello there, friend, lady, person, hello. However, did you get up here? Can you fly or something? Yes, I can whoosh. Does that count as a Melodia statue? Oh, that was not difficult to get up there at all. I just went the difficult way around. Ruined! My beautiful herb shop is ruined! Those rumblings have been getting worse ever since those strange creatures started appearing around the village. It wouldn't surprise me if Notea awakened something when he was on one of his expeditions. Was that, was that an A or a D? This font is a little bit difficult to read sometimes. Come to think of it, I suppose this game does have an element of the Metroidvania to it, which normally isn't my kind of flavour. Because, like, that's why I have mixed feelings about Ori and the Blind Forest. Like, I sort of want to play it, but it's not typically the sort of game that I usually enjoy, although I appreciate its art style and everything. And I feel like this game kind of goes the same way, but just without the, uh, the skill trees. Hello there, Russian man. Except if I do a Russian accent, I'll be accused of racism, so... Why, a good day to you, young adventurer. What whim brings you all the way up here? Why does everyone sound like me putting on an accent? No, wait, where are my manners? You must think me quite rude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Notea, Mr. Alice's Explorer Extraordinaire. I've travelled the very length and breadth of this island. From Whispering Sands to the Forgotten Jungles and all these other teasers of potential upcoming levels. No cavern too cavernous. No river too ravenous. No mountain too... Mountainous? Well, Taku, he really does go on, doesn't he? Monster too monstrous. E excuse me, did you say something? You can hear me? Oh my goodness, you can hear my mouse? Of course I can hear you. Wait a moment, you're a... A spirit! Da -da -da -da. My goodness, this is quite remarkable. A real-life spirit! I'm truly honoured by your presence. My name is Enril, the Wind Spirit. This is Taku. I don't know how I know his name, but don't question it. Enril, you say? How interesting. This region is covered with inscriptions about a lost spirit named Enril. Really? What do they say? From what I've been able to translate, it seems that after the Wind Spirit went missing, a race called the Melodias began constructing wondrous things to beckon the Wind Spirit's return. They believed that these artifacts would aid in restoring her power at a time when she would need it most. The Melodias themselves have since vanished, so nobody knows for sure how these artifacts work. Toku and I have blustered across some kind of shrine. Do any of the inscriptions refer to others like it? Because it gave me a power up and shit. Why yes, I know of at least one other shrine in this area. I've read of a second, but never found it myself. So you've been to this other shrine? Pardon my voice going all over the place? Of course. I wouldn't be an explorer extraordinaire if not, would I? We didn't come to the first one, so... I'm not even gonna... Sorry, it is rather easy to get carried away. What was I saying? Oh yes. I believe the shrine dedicated to the meandering wind would be to the west of Wither Falls. Here, take this map to help you on your travels. It's always served me well in the past, and hey, it's a MacGuffin for a video game. Why the fuck not? To the west, you say? 
That must, must be close to where I found you sleeping, Jabu. Let's backtrack. Well, Jabu, I suppose we should bluster along now. Wind puns. No, uh, I thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. If there's any way that I can assist you further, do come find me again, and maybe I'll have a voice that's sufficiently different from yours by then. Whoosh, whoosh. Click the pause symbol or escape to open the map. Why, thank you. First, I'm a save. Just because uh, it's kind of end of episode time. So, for the time being, here's the map. It's looking very Metroidvania now that I think about it. I don't remember if this was in the Wii version. But anyway. Why, thank you. So, I guess that's where we're going next time. For the time being, though, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. And, yep, in the next episode, we're going to head over yonder. I'm not entirely sure how we get there, presumably by going up and that way? We'll have to see. For now, though, I will see you then, because that makes perfect sense from a chronological standpoint. Goodbye! <laughs>